What is up, dudes and dudettes? I am the Ray the Fox, and I'm joined by... Kungo510, once again. And we're, and we're back for more Mother 3. Huzzah. Yeah. Huzzah. Hey, it's Drunkard. Hey. <laughs> no, she barely even got to live life. Wouldn't you agree? I cannot drink at a time like this. He said he's still drunk. Alright, in the last episode... We discovered that Hinawa was killed by a Drago. And it's truly a sad time in Flint and Lucas and Klaus's life. But now we have to go and rescue Klaus because he w thought it was a good idea to go out and fight the Drago by himself. And we need to become equipped. And we're going to spend this episode doing just that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to Mapson so we know where <coughs> Alex's house is from, um, from here. There you go. We marked Alex's house for you. Be careful out there. And we're gonna spend this episode getting weapons and uh, equipment for going and fighting Drago. First thing you wanna do is head to Thomas Bazaar. Oh, I'm not as lucky as last time. This is gonna be this is gonna be a pain. So, um, there's an item you can get here called the good called the better stick. I think I don't know if it's the good stick or the better stick. No, it's the good stick. Um, it's a random chance. Every time you turn the game off and back on, you have a random chance of getting the good stick. I'm gonna take this running bomb, because I can, and I'm gonna see you guys back here when I get this, when the, when it shows up. So, see you guys in a second. And we're back! I was unable to get the, I was unable to get the better stick because you gotta do something, we gotta go and see Alec before, um, the Thomas Bazaar will restock its items. I tried resetting a couple times, which, which, which was what I was told you were supposed to do, but it just doesn't work until you talk to Alec. So, we're gonna go and get the other stuff. Alright, first thing you wanna do is not go this way, because this is the wrong way, and I'm a moron for thinking this is the right way, when it really isn't. I can't, I can't see the game footage, though. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, one second. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we are going to go and get a another item that you can do that you can get and also show off some new enemies that appear around this time. And also these enemies are really good for grinding. And after we go and talk to Alec, I'm probably gonna come back here and do a bit of grinding. It's fuel. My dad's been down in the dumps ever since all that stuff happened. Mr. Flint, think you can go say hi to him? Sure, I can do that. It's those two again. Oh, it's lighter. Well, I know it's lighter. I never thought I'd see you lose it like that. But if you start acting like that, what'll happen to those two kiddos who rely on you? You know what's best. It's tough being a man. No doubt Klaus is intent on aven avenging Hanawa. You better go after him, and fast. I'll let you borrow this. Whoa, come on now, you're- God damn it! What? My inventory's full. Not really. Get rid of this friggin' nut bread. Just, just use it. All right. I got the manly bandana. Don't worry. I washed it. It's clean. All right. The manly bandana is an equip item. You take it and you equip it and you look badass with it. But first thing I want to do is use that flea charm, which I forgot to equip. There we go. Wait, what? Play charm can be equipped. Oh, actually, I have to manually equip them. Okay, equip. Um, body. Fleet charm. Wait, hold up. How much does the fleet charm do compared to the mini mini charm? Yeah, a lot more. Okay, and now we have to replace the ordinary hat with that manly bandana. It's a loss in defense. No, no, it's a, it's a raise. No, it's a, it's a loss in, in offense, but a raise in defense, which I honestly think is better. And sadly, we are going to have to remove the ordinary hat. Even though it's a cool hat and it's Flint's hold, um, main hold item, we gotta get rid of it because it takes up inventory space. South face. And, yeah, I know. And also, um, we can get rid of, uh, where's that? That mini mini charm. And we're back! So many cutouts this video! Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it, Kumo! 
It's all your fault. It is. I, I, I know it sounds like you're joking, but you know what Birds! Yeah, ha <laughs> birds. <laughs> and there's a present. And it's an edible mushroom. Yeah, now that I mention that, I'd probably get rid of those edible mushrooms since they only... Oh! Oh, they're actually do a lot better. I thought they only had like one HP. Well, they do a lot more than that. That was pretty good. Nice. Wait, did I equip the manly bandana? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm just being stupid. Yeah, I equipped the manly bandana. Alright. Let's go. Alright, next place we want to go is... Let me think. Let me try to remember real quick. Real quick. Um... I'm gonna run around like a dirt for a moment until I remember. Yeah, so hopefully muscle memory will kick in, and I'll. <coughs> hopefully, um, muscle memory will help me remember where I need to go. Oh, I remember now. We gotta go to the forest. We gotta go to the forest so I can show off the new, um, the new enemies. There is a, there is a one or two new enemies. Hey. Mr. Bronson! Oh, here you are, Flint. Good thing I waited. Flint, just take this and go. It's THE Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that it can pierce the tough hide of a Drago is its fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. We got the Drago Fang! That is not an equivocal weapon. It is just a hold item. Okay. I realize this m might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Thanks, Bronson. Well, guess I'll head on home and get back to work. I'm not fully sure, but I think you can actually go to his house and get it if you don't come here first. Anyway, we got some new enemies! We got the Frang Mantis, which is statistically the weakest enemy in the game. One hit! <laughs> One hit! And it's already dead. And he gives us only two experience. It's not even worth the gum on my shoe. And here we got another new enemy. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes! I did it! Nice. For, for this is the greedy mouse! It is an alright enemy, I guess. It's got some funky jet. Can I say this music is samba? I think I can. I wouldn't know, but. You won. Flint earned the 35 six experiences. And now. Let's do the... Get to the back sprite. Nice. Yeah! Boss status. Didn't even need to cut ahead, and I got two back sprites simultaneously. Hells yeah! Give me that two experience. Even though I don't need it at all, and it's so completely worthless, and it doesn't really add up to anything. I'm going to go heal up in the hot spring because yellow. Swimming around in a hot spring out in the forest that was on fire. Now that I look at it, the forest doesn't look like it was very on fire. Oh, by the way, you can talk to birds and get advice from them on how to play, but I don't think you should do that because it's just a waste of time. Oh, um, <clears throat> and something else you can do. If you come into this house, which is, um, Isaac's house, and you look at this box, it is full of antidotes. Um, since my inventory is full, I cannot take one, but if you need an antidote, you can just come back here and get an infinite supply of them, but you probably won't need them. Since there aren't very many enemies in this game that poison you, to my knowledge. I'm probably completely wrong, because I haven't studied on this game in quite a while, but whatever. Ah, oh, sweet, another back yeah. sprite! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh, uh, uh, that was nice. Alright, I'm gonna just cut ahead and beat these guys. Or just walk around them, you know. Because I'm awesome. Oh, here's the forest. Now it's on fire. And here we gonna have another new monster. Fuck no, get away from me. Uh, let's try and get around him. Actually, no, I know a way, I know a way to get this back sprite real easily. Hop, 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 Nice. Yeah! So much bossness! I stuck up behind a baked yam monster! These are good enemies if if you want. Oh, oh shit! Oh snap! That was awesome. Four hit combo. I feel so awesome right now. <laughs> <laughs> My luck is not this good. It's like the re it's like the reverse recording curse. Yeah, yes, it's the backwards let's play curse. Yeah. 
Yeah, I wanted to just let something away because, um, as you see, a baked yam heals 40 HP while nut breads only restore 30. So we're gonna replace the nut bread with the baked yam. I'm, I think this is a new enemy. I don't fully remember. Damn it! It's some mighty body snake. I do not know if I've uh, fought this enemy yet, but I, yeah, I feel I have. So I'm not gonna bio it just yet. But if I, but I probably won't bio it anyway because I'm pretty sure I've already fought these when the force is burning. You won! And if I didn't, then I'll just flash up the bio anyway because I'm just stupid. Um, and look, it's what? it's the flying yeah, mouse yeah. from. I love this music. But the fight music in this game, there are not very many tracks, but I just love it anyway. Now, first thing I want to do is take out that mighty fighty snake because they can poison and they're annoying as shit. This is the flying mouse, not yet. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, it was just a fucking mouse with wings, you know, it's not a big deal. <laughs> oh no! It's still alive! Alright, I killed it. The mighty mighty, uh, the mighty mighty snakes are not that, um, powerful. No, they're not, but they poison you and they're annoying as shit. Yeah. Woo! Level 13! Zero. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna spend a few moments. So I'm gonna rush back and heal real quick, so I shall return. You're actually getting the antidotes, or? No, I'm just gonna go heal up. And we're back! Hmm. Alright, now I'm gonna try and get the back sprites for this Mighty Buddy Sprite. Oh, no. Oh, I can't get it. Nope, so I'm just gonna cut ahead until I do. Yes! Got it! That was a lot less painful than I thought it would be, which I am happy about. Alright, and that was easy, thankfully. I hate Mighty Body Snakes. And we got an antidote from them. I'm actually gonna hold on to that and just replace uh, one of the nut breads. Yeah, I'll just replace the nut bread and just hold on to one antidote. And I also need to get the flying mouse's back sprite, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. I finally got it! Alright. This is the back sprite for it, so let's just kill this motherfucker real quick, because this was a pain in the ass. Didn't take very long, but it was still a pain in the ass, because it's just look at my health. I have peculiar cheese. Uh, yeah, I actually am gonna throw away an upgrade for the peculiar cheese. Peculiar Cheese is a very strange healing item. It depends on, like, and I'm not joking, the amount of health it recovers depends on how much the character you're playing as likes cheese. Oh gosh! Awesome! Let's get it! Oh! Oh, dang it! That was a beanling. Um, it's a, it's a, an, one of the rare enemies I was talking about. Um, and if you get it, and here's another one! If you get it, it, um, it was heal. It gives you a ton of experience, and so does this thing. Yeah. yeah I, ah, fuck. I, 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 I waited I, too I, long. I that there's some rare enemies in this area, and like NCS got it. Um, got the uh, rare enemies locally in his let's play. Uh, yeah, there are two en rare enemies in this area that I was talking about, and that is the soot dumpling, which is the black rolling thing we just saw, and the beanling, and the beanling which I was lucky enough to encounter. Ah, here it is. Um, this thing is easy to get a back sprite. Just walk up from behind. Nice. And there you go. Back instant back sprite. But this thing has a shitload of HP. So unless you're a sit ton of defense and not very much HP. So ah oh damn it, I'm crying. So unless you're good at um So unless you're good at uh, combos or somehow have a um an ancient banana, you're not gonna kill that thing anytime soon. Even though it does give a lot of experience. Especially when it comes to um or this early in the game. But I'm gonna try and catch the beanling, so I shall return, and then we'll call an episode. So I shall I shall return in momentarily. So verb. Oh no! And we're back. Preserve. I finally caught the beanling, but I didn't get its back sprites, so I'm gonna have to fight it again. 
But anyway, this thing is pretty weak, but it can use PSI. It's... Just... Pretty much a force to be reckoned with. But it's still... I mean, just look at this. 538 experience. It's under 1,000. No, uh, obvious 9,000 joke is 9,000. Fuck it. Alright, so now I'm gonna have to go and do it all again and get the, the back sprite. So I'm gonna cut ahead to when I get that. <laughs> no! Oh. Okay, I counted another beanling, but once again didn't get its back sprite. So I'm gonna end the video off here and I'm going to get it off screen. Because this video is getting far too long and I'm gonna have a lot to cut out anyway. So, thank you so much for watching Dudes to Do It. I have been Lorena Fox, joined by Kuma 510. And we will see you, Dudes to Do It, in the next episode of Mother 3. Bye! Hashtag Jeff Jackson. Yeah.